Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and today I'm going to finish building the hole in my Cedar Strip canoe. In my last video, I showed how I mount the strips on the molds. In this video, I'm going to show how I work the two sides towards each other to close the hole. I'm about halfway done right now. As I start rounding over to the bottom of the boat here, it gets a little bit more tricky to bend the strips into shape. For the last boat I built, I just stapled the strips right onto the molds. That leaves little staple holes you can see when you finish, but it also makes mounting the strips a lot easier. If you're trying to do this without staples, you're just going to have to get creative with some of your clamping. To clamp my strips on, I've been screwing these little scraps onto the molds, taping onto the previous strips, and for some of the more difficult curves, I'm using bungee cords and tie-down straps. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, so my best advice is just do some research and try some different things until you find a method you're comfortable with. So I rounded the curve, now I'm working on the bottom of the boat. At this point, I start working one side only past the middle. Once I've worked one side completely past the middle of the boat, I snap a chalk line down the middle, then cut along the line with a circular saw. Now I'm going to close the gap by custom fitting each strip. On one end, I mark the approximate angle cut it, then use a hand planer to plane it to an exact fit, then I do the same thing with the other end. I work like this till the gap is closed. I put a link in the video description to a video another canoe builder made showing this process in stop motion. The stop motion also gives good insight into how this process is done. On the second to last strip, I rip the cove off and instead I put a really light bevel before I put it on. Then I cut and shape the last sliver of a strip to fit in there perfectly. It's kind of a cool milestone finishing the hole. It's really rough right now, so the next steps are to cap the ends with the outer stems, then sand everything smooth so I can do the fiberglass and epoxy. I'll be posting videos for that stuff soon. I did want to say a couple more things about this process. One, when you glue your strips on, a bunch of glue squeezes out of the cracks. You're going to save yourself a lot of time sanding if you wipe that off with a damp rag as you were. Two, Perfection is the goal, but it's important to remember that nothing built out of wood is perfect. Small mistakes are okay, fix the ones you can fix, and just live with the ones you can't. Finally, I know my videos can be kind of fast paced. If you miss something, you're welcome to watch them multiple times. I also put a lot of extra stuff in the video descriptions, and you can always leave a comment on a video if you have more questions. Thanks for watching, a guy doing stuff. Don't forget to hit subscribe.